Hi, have you ever thought, I just want one good guitar amplifier that sounds good, it's not too loud, still works with my band, I can jam with my buddies? I think I might have an amplifier for you. Uh, over my right shoulder, the Dr. Z Carmen Gia. It's a, yeah, what is it? It's a clean amp, it's got two controls on the volume and tone. Uh, it has a great clean sound and it takes pedals well. I'm playing it through a Dr. Z 112 cabinet with a um, Vintage 30 speaker in it, which is the same speaker that it comes with if you buy the combo. Um, we'll have a lot of demos in it and a lot of stuff to demo the sounds. There'll be uh, three or four guitars. You get an idea what it sounds like that. Play some pedals so you can get an idea how it sounds with pedals. And uh, I just think it's a great amp and it's it's worth sharing a little bit what it's about. So currently the, the price is on these. The head is $1,600. The combo is $1,900. And if you if you wanted to compare it to something, like you're saying, I just want a, I want a good amplifier that I can play at home. I think we've all been through that road. I have a Deluxe Reverb, a Agnator combo, and a Music Man combo. I have a couple of Roland combos. Box. I can't remember all of them. But I think you can kind of compare it to, say, a Fender Deluxe Reverb. And if we're going to do that, um, it's, it's, it's actually pretty, there's some good comparisons in there. Uh, first of all, I wrote some of these down. Uh, weight. The Carmen Gia weighs uh, four pounds lighter than the Fender Deluxe. That's kind of cool. Tubes. There's five in the Gia. Uh, two 12AX7s, a rectifier tube, and uh, two EL84s. And in the Deluxe Reverb, there's nine tubes. Uh, it's six V6s. Uh, it's just a lot. A rectifier tube and a whole bunch of preamp tubes. I guess my point being there, there's a lot of stuff that can go wrong in that Deluxe Reverb. Um, Deluxe Reverb has reverb and tremolo. The Gia doesn't. If you're one of those people that has to have reverb, then... You could always get a pedal for it. Or you could get a, if you want a tremolo too, you get a Strymon Flint. Those seem to be very popular for that. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, back, back to the price again. So, say $1,600 for the uh, Deluxe Reverb and $1,900 for the Karma Gia Combo. Uh, the Carmen Gia is a hand-wired amp, hand built in America. Fender, who knows, PCB board, and uh, who knows where it's made. Fender does make a hand-wired version of the Deluxe Reverb, and that is uh, around three thousand dollars. So if you're really trying to compare apples to apples, you got three thousand dollars compared to nineteen hundred dollars, and with the Deluxe, you got reverb and tremolo and and so that's something to keep in mind uh, deluxe reverbs have an 8 ohm tap transformer tap and uh, 8 ohm extension speaker cabinet jack in parallel so it basically means you can use the internal 8 ohm speaker if you want to use an external speaker in addition to you it has to be another 8 ohm speaker you plug in in that second jack and away you go if you want to plug the Deluxe Reverb into, say, a Marshall cab that's 16 ohms, it's not going to happen. Uh, you get you get basically one one choice with the with the Deluxe Reverb. With the, with the Carmen Gia, it's got four 8 and 16 ohm taps. You only use one at a time, but I can easily say, especially with the head version, I can, if I'm doing something small, I can take the 112 cabinet with me. Or if I wanted to push more air, I could easily plug it into the 412 cabinet. Sounds great in whatever you plug it into, but particularly sounds good with the 
with the Vintage 30 Celestion speakers. Not really sure why, but, but it just does. Um, the tone of the amp. This is really pretty subjective, but I think if you see people reviewing the Deluxe Reverb, and I've had one for a number of years, you'll find they kind of get it to sound good when the volume is between, say, 3.5 and 4.5, and, and they've kind of tweaked the, the bass and treble controls to work. But other, otherwise, it's just really hard to work with. And if, you know, they probably sold a million of them, and everybody bought them with the same thing in mind. I just want a little amp I can grab and go that sounds good. Uh, but then you start plugging distortion pedals into it, and you're like, you, you could have 20 distortion or gain pedals, and you go, boy, all these sound like crap. Uh, it's not that way with, with the gear, and I don't know why, but uh, Dr. Z knows what he's doing with that stuff. So that's why I'm done with, uh, with the pedals. When I play the amp, I'm 99% I'm of the time, I just plug a guitar straight into it, and I play pretty quiet. Um, it's a really addictive sound, and uh, it just, it's just simple, and it works. If you grab, say, a, a bright guitar, you turn the tone control one way, and now it's not so bright. It's, it's basically that simple. I think there's a lot to be said for that. Uh, there's not even a standby switch on it. You just put, turn the thing on and let it warm up, and away it goes. I might also add that he's had this amp out for a long, long time. You know, probably 30 years. Sold a ton. And uh, it's just a fantastic amplifier. But, you, but you'd but you be the judge. You, if, it, if you're looking for something like a deluxe reverb and you say, I want a decent amp, I'd highly recommend looking at the Dr. Z Karma Gia. Um, that's kind of what this video is about. So if you're if you're seriously looking at an amp like that, there's a ton of examples in here, and it's going to take forever to get through. But uh, you don't have to watch it all. And I'll segment it by the guitars, a couple of Les Pauls, Strat, a Telecaster, play it at a bunch of different volumes, different pedals. Like I said. Anyway, I hope you find this video helpful. Um, I think for me, if I was looking for what does this amp do? Because you can't really get the, your hands on a Dr. Z amplifier very often because they're all made to order. So, like, if you're buying something from Sweetwater and, you know, they'll keep ordering them as they run out of stock. But really, if you want one, you just got to order it from, from any of the Dr. Z de dealers. And then they place an order and then you get in the queue and they'll make you one. Not really different than any other custom builder, except there's a, a dealer network built around the amplifier. Um, lastly, uh, the support of Dr. Z is absolutely stellar. If you ever have a problem with your amp, get a hold of them by phone or by email. They'll answer it really quickly. They'll do their absolute best to make, make the product right for you. And I think that's part of the big reason why so many people are really kind of diehard fans of the brand. So it's not just the great products that they come out with, it's, it's really the, the support and the people behind the products. So I have nothing but praise for the company. I picked up my first Dr. Z a few years ago, four years ago maybe, and haven't looked back. So anyway, have a great day. Hope you liked the video. Cheers. <coughs>
anyway, so it's just kind of fun to play. Going to give you an idea what it sounds like with a couple different guitars. So let's Paul Custom here. Give you an idea what it sounds like with some pedals. Uh, so I uh, put on a chorus pedal. the chorus pedal kind of like kind of bossy one famous for its sustain I mean you can yeah. just hold it well I mean so you, don't ah, you can go go and have a bite no I can kind of just play it all day and usually what I do with this amp is if I just want to play I just plug straight into the amp and don't use any pedals, but I wanted to show it with some pedals. But it's a pretty harmonically, it's just a fun amp to play. I don't know how else to explain. The amp isn't very loud. Now I could sing over it if I could sing in the room. It's got some give, uh, it has some give like a loud, a big amp turned up really loud, but it, it's really quiet. So, if I can explain that a little, uh, maybe show it a little. There's some give in that uh, chord where it doesn't bounce from too quiet to too loud. All kinds of cool sounds on a Les Paul with this. <clears throat> and by the way, it's so simple. I mean, you just got a volume and tone, and that's it. So you kind of just, I'll switch guitars in a second, but to dial in the next guitar, you just got two knobs to fiddle with, and away you go. I think there's something really to be said for that. Um. <laughs> Thank you. 
convert to a tube screamer. Tube screamers always sound horrible to me with pump buckers. They, they have that clean sound mixed in, which works really well with single coils or when you're really pushing, an amp's already pushed and it's completely compressed, then you can't hear the separation. But with the amp real quiet like this, it sounds like a tube screamer. That's just a gnarly sound, isn't it? There's a tube screamer and not how to use it. Okay, next up, uh, Revival Drive. Uh, kind of sounds like this. Moving the tone controls around a little. That reduces the the uh, the bass mostly. AM radio. That's that sound.
just for fun, grab the Les Paul Standard. Same pickups as the Les Paul Custom, uh, but they sound different. <laughs> Also tuned down a half step, so. That's that one. All right, so first observation is it's a lot quieter. Uh. are all fine. Let's turn up the volume. It's still a little quieter than the other guitar. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Tube Screamer. Tube Screamer. up the amp a little to work with the clean amp, the clean guitar, but the, the revival drive in particular at that same, is just, is just the same level as before, so now it's pretty loud. It's fun, I'm probably clipping everything though.
try with more guitar. around with something on this one. Anyway, you get the idea. It worked fine. Uh, pedals. Pedals real quick. Tube Screamer. the police too, right? Angry Charlie. Turn it down a little. Now it's really quiet, but it still sounds good. starting to clip. I'm going to turn up a little more, but I'm turning down the preamp. Well, that's what it sounds like with the preamp turned on.
All right, that's pretty loud. That was with the uh, oh, tube screamer. One more time on the tube screamer. Tube screamer. I'm gonna turn it down a little. I'm gonna go in a different tuning for fun.
That was fun.